Welcome back for this part two of week uh, 10, the bi week edition of the Ravens Roundup. Uh, another request from a subscriber uh, was Matt Sakura, uh, our center. Uh, I'm going to give you the good and bad of Matt Sakura. Um, pretty good in pass protection for the most part. There are a few bad plays in there. Uh, run blocking, he's okay. But um, as far as an overall assessment of, uh, of our center, he is not the the problem on offense. He uh, does a decent job of pass pro from what I've been watching. And, uh, you know, has very uh, good feet to get to second level when, when that opportunity presents itself uh, in the run game. But um, let's get into it. Uh, got a couple plays here. Not going to hold you too long. Uh, another request from, from someone, uh, Matt Skirt. He's playing center here. So now the pressure is going to come from the three tip, which is the guy right here. He slants inside, over and under the guard. His career doesn't get there fast enough to protect him. And he knows it's coming out quick. He's overpowered. This is perfect technique for when you want to split. A double team. Now this is not a, a defensive video, it's offensive, but that's great technique. He, he his arms over this one. He has the leverage on him, and now he's just gonna overpower our center. And see what happens. And to protect Joe Flacco, he does the best thing he can do is hold. Him. And he throws him to the ground. That's one of the bads. Move on to one of the goods. I was planning to build in this game. This is week one. So pretty much everything we did in week one was was a good thing. So um, let's get into this one and see what goes on. Now he has a one take over him. Good, does a good job because of the play action of a man on man blocking. Still keeps him in front. Good job of moving his feet. Still working, still working. Good job by the center. Good pocket with Flacco. How Flacco gets out and run, but it's not his fault. He does a great job of protecting the uh, A gap and doing a big on big blocking, as we call it. Now he has a one take to his left, three take to his right. Let's see what, what happens here. All right, he's sliding right, so it's some kind of slide protection to the right. He's protecting the right side A gap. Nothing comes, and now he passes him off when he tries to go there. Good job of getting his eyes on him because he has big on big here. But this is the guy we're watching. Did a great, great job of, of slide protection and protecting his A gap because the three take started here. When he chose to, to come underneath and go into this gap, bam, right there to pick him up. Good job of moving your feet. And being aware. I just get him in the run game. Uh, what's going to happen here is a, a little dive action for uh, Alex Collins. Uh, nobody is over the center right here. Uh, he's going to be, this guy's going to be, this one tech's going to be scooped up by the guard. He's, he's trying to get backside linebacker. See if he can get there. A good job of getting past that the the, uh, the one tick and getting up to the linebacker. See exactly how he does it slow it down. Beats him. Now comes flat. That's a good job of beating it, getting past this guy and coming flat. Now that's your alley. Look at that hole for Collins. Got the hole for Collins. Skirt has leverage here. Got it there. Collins just has to run as they like, breaks the tackle, and Collins actually scored on that play. Good job pushing off. He's pushing right, trying to get to that one technique. Good job so far. Now he's lost leverage. He's lost leverage. Didn't get his head on the right side. Good initial step, but head should be here on this side. And not over here. He's losing leverage already. Which forces uh, Gus the bus to cut it back. He lost leverage and he's probably this looks like a hole. It's probably gonna be called a hole. There it is, the takedown. That's where he lost leverage because he didn't get his head on the right side. Best thing he can do to protect the runner is to get a hole. Cause if he don't, and let's let me tell you why that's the best thing to do. Remember, some people are always saying, why is it best that he get a hole? If he, do, if he lets that man go and don't grab him or throw him down, that could be one of those Jadavian Clowney hits where it turns into a turnover instead of just a penalty. 
and, and you'd rather a penalty any day over a turnover. All right, apparently at least you get another down to try to make it right or try to get better, and you keep the ball. Maybe you even get the chance to punt. Turnover, the defense gets the ball, and the other team has the momentum going in that direction. So we got a steal against the Panthers here. Pass pro, good job moving his feet. Good job moving his feet. Good job. Good job. Now, he's good here, but because of the pressure and Flacco has to step up, now he's going to turn back. He gets thrown out of the way right here at the last second. Let me slow it down for you and watch it. Good job here. Still good job here. But because of the other pressure, Flacco has to step up. Now he gets thrown down. And his man gets half a sack. His man gets half a sack. He starts off in the uh, one take to the left. Tries across his face. He does a great job moving his feet. So from watching this fam, he does. He has good feet. Uh, he does a good job in pass pro. Does a good job of getting him to the second level. And like I said, watching uh, three or four games here, He's not the problem offensively. He, he's decent in the run game. Get the second level. Uh, does, he's, to me, average or above average in pass pro. So um, as far as the film on him, he is not our problem offensively. Uh, we, we just need to build around him, uh, the tackles and whatnot. But I still think I go back to the scheme. That's my personal opinion of it. Uh, the scheme is our problem offensively. But we got guys, you know, I guess looks like they're doing what they're coached to do. And so, uh, as far as my, my breakdown on uh, Matt Sakura, our center, and I don't know if I'm saying his last name right. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I, I feel like he's not, like I said, not the problem on, on, on offense. Uh, we could be better schematically, but uh, let's see what we do come off this bye week. And, uh, you know, maybe we get to see Lamar Jackson. Maybe it's Joe. Uh, worst case scenario is RG3. Uh, and this is Coach Evans on part two of the Ravens Roundup. About to sign out. Uh, make sure you comment, uh, like, subscribe. Uh, it's a bell on there. Hit the notification button. Uh, make sure you like, like, like. And also check out the other uh, videos I have. Um, the latest one was with um, Chris Moore. And it's talking about do we need Chris Moore or can Chris Moore help us. Check that out. Also check out um, what you know uh, how bad our defense was against the Steelers and how can we improve on that. And there's a few more videos on that Ravens Roundup uh, playlist on YouTube you can check out. Again, thank you for everything. Like, hit that like button. Coach Evans, Ravens Roundup. Bye week. We out.